All right, so here we are continuing Super Mario Land. We are now, of course, in World 3. And I said I was gonna take the time to talk about the issues I had with the game in Part 3, which was a little difficult, but if, you know, if I think about it, there were maybe like a few minor uh, annoyances in the game, which was the running and the jumping. The running, not as much. It's only at certain times, but the jumping has always been an issue with me since I've been playing Super Mario Brothers. Running is just at certain points, like, because if you're used to the controls of Super Mario Brothers or Super Mario World, where you know if you hold the B button to run, it takes you a while to gain speed. You know, you have to be holding it for a while and move a little bit so you can jump further or higher. While as in Super Mario Land, you just hold the B button and you just fucking dash like you're Sonic the fucking Hedgehog. So it's, it's difficult when you're like on thin platforms or say you're on top of a coin box. And it, you know, you're not gonna have enough uh, space to run and jump, so most of the time you're gonna fall. It's worse when you have to jump to another platform from there, and there's nothing below you, like say water or just empty space, and you die. But the game doesn't have a lot of those situations, so it's not really a big deal. The one for me, it's always been the jumping, because it's always an issue I've had since Super Mario Bros. for the NES. It's just that it feels a little too damn stiff. Oh, excuse me. You know, like, uh, let's say I was playing Super Mario Brothers. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with World 1-3, where there's trees and there's flying Koopa Turtles, and the Goombas just fall to their death. And there's, like, uh, at least at one point where you move, when you get to, like, moving platforms floating in the air. That, I used to have that problem. Not, it's not, a, I'm not saying it's hard, but I'm saying the first time I played it, yeah, I would fucking die a few times, because it's like, you're trying to jump, land on that spot while it's moving, and a lot of times I sh over sh over jumped it, overshot it from too much speed. So you're trying to pull back and land on it, and you're like, oh fuck, I can't move back. It actually just you move forward a lot slower than once you you know holding it holding it forward. So that's always been an issue with the game. I've always had the jumping's been a pain in the ass. Maybe it could be because I suck at it. Of course, maybe I could just be terrible. You guys are probably thinking you just fucking suck at Super Mario. Maybe that's the case. You never know. But I, I don't know if other people have the same issue with it, but that's my personal issue I have with the game. Not even the running's enough to, like, annoy me. It's just the damn jumping that's always been a pain in the ass. Now, maybe I could be comparing it to other games, too. Like, sometimes I do that. Like, like let's say Contra has the perfect fucking controls. What I love so much about Contra, it's the fact that you have c total control of the movement. Now... For Super Mario Land, I don't know if that could be a good thing or a bad thing, because maybe you suck at the jumping, but the levels are too easy, so it could kind of, like, balance the game out for you. Like, eh, now it's not too damn easy. So Contra has that effect, in a way. Because you control the movement, you control the jumping, you control the shooting. Let's say you were to jump, and you want to move to the right. You move to the right as far as you want, and as far as you want, until you let go, or you just keep moving to the right. If you were to jump and move to the right a little bit, you fall straight down as soon as you let go. You have total control of that jumping. Same thing with movements, and it's like, it's like, it, it balances itself out because the levels are kind of hard. Like, let's say, you know, the game's probably, maybe that's the effect the game wanted to have, you know, the message they want to give. Like, yeah, we're going to give you perfect fucking movements, you're going to shoot in any direction you want, we'll even give you gun upgrades like lasers and spread shotguns and the little swirly shots. But the levels are going to be hard. You're going to get jumped and bombarded by enemies. The bosses are slightly difficult. Uh, there's traps everywhere. And one kill or one hit kills you. Ends your life. So yeah, it's like it balances itself out. We give you good fucking controls. And the levels are hard. So whether you pass the game is all on your skills. Because we gave you everything. Super Mario for me kind of has like an opposite effect of that. Like... The, like, the, yeah, the levels are easy, but then the jumping's bad. Like I said, not everyone thinks the jumping's bad, but for me it is. So it kind of balances itself out. It's, like, if you play Super Mario Brothers, however, you know, eventually the levels start to get more harder, and maybe by then you take total control of the jumping, or you get used to it, or you can handle the controls. I never have. But yeah, Super Mario Brothers definitely gets harder. Super Mario Land gets maybe not even harder, but it adds more of a challenge when you pass the game. And you play it again because you had more enemies in certain spots. But yeah. Those are the only two issues I really have. The only issue I ever heard anyone else talk about was just that Super Mario Land was too short. That's about it. I mean, for me, it's, it's a Game Boy game. What do you expect? 
they pretty i'm sh everything else they added towards you know how good the game the music the the way it looks the different enemies but yeah for me the only issue is the jumping
See, this would already be too much. I mean, back in 1985, you went through eight fucking castles to find Peach. I mean, I would have just stopped at five castles, but hey, that's just me. And I did when I controlled you, remember? What do I get this time? Three lives, even better. Boom. 27. Oh, I'm bad at math.